Hey everybody, Dr. A here. In this video, we are going to be exploring an uh, example of doing a, a simple dead load calculation for a building frame. So let's look at our given information. Um, we are asked to use ASC 716 table C 3.1-2, so that's in the commentary section of ASC 716, to determine the second floor and roof dead loads in KIPS for the frame below. Then we have not drawn the frame yet. We're going to draw that together. The second floor um, is a six inch reinforced um, stone concrete slab and the roof is made of plywood. Um, and we're going to add a little phrase on here that is two inches thick. Okay, so this is maybe some kind of low budget temporary frame, um, but either way, we've got a we've got a second floor concrete slab, and currently we've got a two inch thick uh, plywood um, roof uh, material. Okay, so let's draw this um, frame together. So we're gonna draw a three D frame here. So we're gonna try to do this together. And mind you, I'm no artist, but we're gonna uh, I'm gonna do my best to uh, do this three D frame justice. Okay, so. Draw this out like so. That's going to be my roof. And we're going to put some columns here. Okay. And then my second floor is going to be here. And those of you who had a graphics course in your... Uh, engineering careers, you know that this is a hidden line back here. This is going to be a hidden line here. Actually, I guess this whole line should be hidden, shouldn't it? Here we go. And there we go. And we can, you know, say that maybe this frame is fixed to the ground. Okay, so um, here is our uh, second floor. And then here is our roof. Okay. So, um, so what we're, what we're, this is just a line drawing, you know, like a stick figure of this, of this frame. Okay. And we're also going to be provided some dimension lines. Okay. So the dimension of the building in this direction is, uh, going to be, or this small building frame is going to be 20 feet. And then the dimension of the building in this direction is going to be 30 feet. All right, so let's get going. Let's look at uh, each of these floors separately, okay? The second floor first. Let's, let's start with that. So we're going to write solution, okay? And let's look at that second floor. Second floor, okay? Um, <coughs> we are told um, to uh, use ASC 716 table C 3.1-2, okay? And we are told that that second floor is made out of reinforced concrete, reinforced stone concrete. So from ASC 716, from ASCE 716, the unit weight uh, of that concrete, so we'll call that gamma sub C for concrete, is 150 pounds per cubic foot, which we call that, you know, PCF sometimes, okay? So um, the first thing we can do is we can go ahead and get, the, that's, a, that's a unit weight, that's a density, right? If we multiply this unit weight by the thickness that we're given, that will convert um, that to a surface load, okay? So let's redraw that second floor, okay? I'm gonna come down here and, and redraw just the second floor. Okay, and of course this is the 20 feet dimension and the 30 feet dimension. And so if I, um, if I first wanna convert that into a, a surface dead load like this, And again, these, these vectors are acting 
in the gravity direction, so the downward vertical direction. And I would get a surface load of Q dead, okay? So let's go ahead and get that first. How would we get Q dead for the second floor? Well, that would be this unit weight of concrete times the thickness of the slab. Well, we were told that thickness was six inches, right? So we would say 150 pounds per cubic foot times half a foot, okay? So you gotta convert those units there and you'll get 75 PSF or pounds per square foot, okay? Now, if we wanna take it to a point load in kips, um, like the problem said, then the dead load, I'm gonna put a little two here for the second floor. That's gonna be Q dead times the area over which it's acting. So that's 75 PSF times 20 feet times 30 feet because that Q dead is acting over this 20 by 30 um, area, right? 20 foot by 30 foot area. So I'm getting out my uh, calculator here. I'm using a TI-36X Pro in case you're wondering. 75 times 20 times 30, that's 45 thousand pounds now the problem said determine it in kips so p dead two is going to be 45 kips so that's part of our answer right now um that's just the second floor the problem also asked for us to let's scroll back up it asked us to um, determine the roof dead load in KIPS as well. So what's happening with this roof here? Well, we're gonna follow the same process that we just did for the second floor, okay? Except we're gonna do it for a roof now. So let's change colors and let's say roof, all right? Now, what did the roof, um, what was the roof made out of? Well, it's two inches of plywood, okay? So the plywood uh, is gonna have a unit weight. I'm gonna call that uh, gamma sub W for for, um, well, let's call it gamma sub, how about we call it PW for plywood. So according to the same table, ASC 716C 3.1-2, um, we are going to have a unit weight of 36 PCF. And remember, PCF is how we abbreviate pounds per cubic foot, all right? And again, we can um, draw a, a similar uh, sketch Okay, here's that 20 feet, here's that 30 feet, except now we're, we're at the roof level. And again, we're going to follow the same procedure, okay? And so we can get a Q dead for the roof. So here we have Q, de or Q dead, yep. And um, similarly, that's gamma plywood times the thickness of the plywood. We were given a thickness of the plywood, right? So we would say Q dead for the plywood here, I'll put a little PW there, is gonna be um, 36 PCF times two inches. Now you gotta uh, take that to feet. So that's 0.1667 feet. And again, we're multiplying by 36. So um, that's gonna be six PSF, okay? So that six PSF is six pounds per square foot. That's our Q dead acting over this 20 by 30 foot area. And then finally we can get uh, P dead of the plywood. So let's, let's label that, you know, plywood so we don't maybe get it confused with the dead load of the second floor. Or, or you know, instead of plywood, what do we call it here? We call it two for second floor. You know, just for consistency purposes, how about we call it R for roof? Uh, it doesn't really matter what you label these things as long as you label them, you know, with terms that make some kind of sense. So um, the dead load for the roof would be Q dead of that plywood times 20 feet times 30 feet. And so we would get six times 20 times 30. And of course, we get 3,600 pounds but again we wanted it in kips so we would say p dead roof is 3.6 kips okay and that is our answer and so to summarize um, you can all be organized and say summary uh, p dead for the second floor was 45 kips
and then P dead for the roof was 3.6 kips. So that concludes this video. Um, again, a uh, lot of little calculations here and sketches in 3D. So maybe go back and rewatch this video, slow it down, pause it, rewind to make sure you fully understand every step of this and write it down, write it down, people. The only way to get good at uh, these calculation type of uh, materials is to write things down. Don't just watch and listen. All right, thanks a lot for watching.